Welcome. Today I'm going to be going through a few trees that I've done some work on over the past few months, give you a few updates, and I'm going to start with this oak. If you remember this tree from a few weeks ago, it had two tall dead pieces. Basically the whole tree had died at the top, but there was life at the bottom. So I hacked it back, and as you can see, it's come alive. Lots of new growth at the top, lots from lower down. Nothing higher up this one, so I suspect I'll have to cut this down to sort of this level which is fine. We've got here the dwarf rhododendron that I pruned. I pruned it back really hard a, few, a couple of weeks ago. I wasn't convinced it would come alive, but as you can see, it's absolutely budding everywhere and looking great. So I'm really happy with this and how that's uh, potentially going to turn out. You win some and you lose some. The Nilly's Bonsai Challenge dead <laughs> although the juniper didn't make it at the same time as buying the juniper i bought this austrian pine I, I wired it up i selected a new leader and i've allowed all this to grow to strengthen the tree and it's really really growing on healthily i think that's going to make a nice bonsai in the future that one so as i say you win some you lose some a really popular video was the work i did on this Fuji Cherry, the Kojo no Mai, where I did the, I went through the details of how I pruned the branches off here. Uh, and it's really, really grown healthily. It's put loads of leaves out, loads of extension. The trunk's thickening already, almost in front of my eyes. So I'm really happy I left it in this big pot. And yeah, even the wounds are healing up nicely. This video was called Ugly Oak Bonsai. It's still ugly, it's still barely a bonsai, <laughs> but it is growing. Seems to be struggling a little bit. A lot of these leaves are that kind of a bit deformed and weird. I didn't think it was actually going to sprout out properly at all at one stage, but there's enough leaves on this for me to be confident that it's going to survive the year and grow on. So it's really just a question of leaving this now to, to see what happens and, and come back to it next year. This is the tree that I wasn't exactly sure what it was. It's some kind of elm. And I think I decided in the end from all the comments that it was, oh, I can't even think of the name of it, but it's a certain type of almost ornamental elm. I only did it a couple of weeks ago and the extension is crazy already. These things, they just grow like weeds. Way back. This was one of my earliest videos and it was creating a clump style maple out of multiple Orange Dream Aces and seems to be doing really healthy. I'll just go in a bit closer. I tied these three plants together with wire and then I wedged the trunks apart using pieces of wood just to try and add some separation and I think it worked quite well and I'll be interested to see what happens to this probably removing the wire next year, I suspect. This was a really popular tree. At the time of filming the original video, there wasn't really much um, budding or leaves appearing, but there were lots around the base. So I removed all the lower shoots to try and encourage the top to grow. And perfect, it's really filling out. It's growing on very healthily. And I've got really high hopes for this as a really good bonsai in the future. One of my personal favourites is this field maple group planting. I wasn't convinced that they would do this well because I planted them a little late in the year when they'd already come into leaf. But every tree's made it. An interesting learning experience for me has been the thinner trees have struggled more. The thicker ones have done a lot better. But it's developing into the kind of look that I wanted because in this local maple forest near me you, you walk underneath the trunks and they're basically bare but the majority of the height they have got leaves you know top to bottom so I want that kind of effect um, so this is developing nicely I'll look at this again next spring for a prune but certainly for the time being I'm just leaving this to try and get healthy if any do die, I've got spares to replace them, but at the moment, fingers crossed, it's all going well. I'm just going to take you in now just to have a closer look at the base. This is nice with the side light, lighting these trunks. 
and you can really see the sort of the interplay of the different trunks and the design that are sort of put together yeah I really enjoyed going back through some of these old trees looking at them and uh, sort of updating you I'm going to do more updates obviously as the months roll on but as always thanks for joining me and have a great day